Hey guys, welcome to another Server Miner plugin tutorial. I'm your host, LCGym007, and today we're looking at the Terraform Generator plugin. So, as the name would suggest, this plugin is a world generator that will give you some really cool biomes. It's highly customizable and it will enhance the vanilla feel of Minecraft. Now, I've done this to my current world, and as you can see, I'm just flying about giving you a little showcase of some of the stuff that you get with this plugin. So there's a really cool kind of pink forest over here, and this one has a mushroom, huge tree forest. Uh, there are different structures that can form randomly, and you can highly tweak it in the config file, how often things spawn and how big things form, etc. Uh, this is a really cool looking forest. I haven't seen something like this before. And you could simply just keep going on and explore all the different types of biomes and all the stuff that is laying a wait for someone to find. So here we are on the Spigot page. You can see it's updated from 1.16 to 1.18. And if we scroll down, there is a wiki here, which we'll take a look at in a second. And then if we scroll down, it tells you a little bit about features and then installation. So in order to install it, what we need to do is grab this code here. So simply copy and paste it and then go to your SMPicnic control panel and find the bucket.yml. So open this file up and then down at the bottom, you want to just go onto a new line and paste it in. And it's going to list your worlds. And then it's very important that here where it says world, that you actually type the name of the world you want it to apply to. So thankfully my world is actually called world. So that makes it very simple. And then generator, it's going to be Terraform generator. Now, obviously, if you had a similar plugin that would generate stuff, that might be different. But obviously, for this one, that is what you are going to want to put in there. So save that. And then you are going to want to either delete or save your current world if you still want to use it. Um, and then once you've deleted this, you will be able to restart your server and then a brand new one using the generator will have formed. So here we are in the Terraform Generator folder. You can see there's a few data files and an English.yml. Now in here will just be all the stuff that will pop up in chat. You really don't need to edit that too much, but the main place you want to go is the config.yml. Now in here, there is about 500 lines of stuff you could change. Now a lot of it is to do with numbers. So if we look up the top, we've got the cave biome, we've got the min and max size of the biome, the separation uh, between the same biomes, then if we scroll down, we've got uh, various information about uh, other biomes. So we've got the defaults. So for flat, it's plains, mountainous, it's rocky mountains. And then if we look at the badlands and plateaus, you can see the frequency that they occur, the height, the threshold, SAM radius, commonness, and then the weight of the biome. Now, if you don't know what any of these mean, we can go back to the spigot page and then scroll down to the wiki. And then on here, it's going to specifically tell you what those words mean. So for example, heightmap.core frequency, which is 0.003, uh, that is going to modify the noise frequency of the core height noise generator. So effectively, the higher the frequency you put, the more mountainous it will be and the less flat uh, the biome will be. And then down here, you've got biome dithering, which is obviously a a uh, strange word and it says between biome borders there's slight dithering where the biomes blend to one another the higher value for this increases the size of the blend zone so do you want it to be a clear concrete barrier between two biomes or do you want it to look a bit more natural and kind of mesh together so going through this if there's anything you want to change different frequencies or the weight of a specific biome so if you want one to appear slightly more you want to increase the weight of it uh, you can see deep black ocean it has a weight zero uh, so that's not going to appear but plains is going to be very common with a weight of 10 um, and you can do the same then we've got the climate so you can have the min and max moisture and temperature of said um, biome and then the animals you can change the max herd chance that will appear and then the sizes as well uh, then we've got various structures so this is obviously really cool um, it's very awesome to find structures in the middle of nowhere so catacombs village house stronghold etc um, and then you've got the max y min y the max levels and then if it's enabled and then obviously the chance so you can increase that if you wanted buried treasure, you could increase the spawn ratio and then the count per mega chunk. So you could literally just go through this, change loads of different numbers, and then we get to the ore section. So here's diamonds, the minimum spawn height, the max vein counts, the chance per chunk, and then the max spawn height and max vein size. So you could really change up the vanilla experience for your players by going through this and make it very crazy. And then we've got big trees down here. 
dev stuff we don't really need to edit that too much and then caves do you want to allow flood caves yes or no config version 3 don't edit that and then language file if you have a different language file obviously you could change that if you want to download it head over to the spigot page it is free and then if you want a server to host it on check out serverminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around but that's it for me subscribe like comment and i'll see you next time